Long before the glitz and gold of Trump Tower on Manhattan's Fifth Avenue, there was a small Trump office on Avenue Z in Coney Island. That's where Donald Trump and his father, Fred Trump, first bonded over real estate. I started off in a small office with my father in Brooklyn and Queens. I learned so much just sitting at his feet, playing with blocks, listening to him negotiate with subcontractors. His father had discovered his love for real estate at an early age as well. Fresh out of high school, the young Fred Trump reportedly teamed up with his mother, Elizabeth Trump, to form E. Trump and Son, the beginnings of the Trump empire. He needed a partner, his mom, to write checks since he wasn't old enough. Fred Trump built garages, but eventually began building homes for the upper middle class and for veterans returning from World War II. He'd been left $30,000 by his dad, Fred Trump Sr., who was also a builder. A lot of money then, but still, Fred Trump worked as if he had pennies. Unlike his son, the New York Times says Fred Trump did not like to put his name on things he built. Donald got his start in the business in his 20s. After working on deals with his dad in Queens, Donald Trump began searching for distressed properties in New York City. He used to say, Donald, don't go into Manhattan. That's the big leagues. We don't know anything about that. Don't do it. I said, Dad, I got to go into Manhattan. I got to build those big buildings. And that's just what he did, proving to the man who gave him his start just how much he taught him. Randy Kay, CNN, New York.